My teaching philosophy, I think that I want to impress upon my students is that there is no such thing as a bad writer. Um, that people sometimes come into class and they're really self-conscious about their writing skills. They think that they're not good enough, that they're not going to have a good paper. Um, but I want to tell them straight up front that you can always work on those skills, that there's no such thing as a bad writer, but maybe an inexperienced writer. And when we start from that, um, I think it's, it's easier down the, down the road. A lot of people inspire me, but mostly both of my parents really inspire me. I can't choose just one. My mom really inspired me um, to go to school. She really emphasized the importance of education. And my dad is the hardest worker I know. So I think if I'm feeling lazy, what would my dad say about that? And that really helps me uh, get through sometimes. So, What is my favorite pastime? I actually have a lot of hobbies, but my favorite one is to create. I really like to write, I like to draw and paint. Um, I like all of those things, anything creative, um, but I also like shopping as well. But I think that's also a creative aspect. I like pairing things together. I like color, um, anything where I can create anything. If I could teach another discipline, it would be art. Um, I actually started in art, but I quickly realized that I love art so much that if I had to do it for a job, I wouldn't really like it that much anymore. Um, but that would still be my second choice. My favorite music, uh, to be honest, is anything that I can turn on and not think it's noise. Um, I really like older music. Um, I don't really have a specific kind that I really like, um, but mostly oldies, I think. My favorite movie is Still Magnolias because drink your juice, Shelby. The last book I read, or actually that I'm working on now between grading papers, which is the most reading I do, um, is Becoming Michelle Obama and then also Born a Crime by Trevor Noah. If I could travel anywhere, I think my dream trip is England, Ireland, and Scotland. That's always been the bucket list trip for me. The best advice I've ever received is to not take everything so personally. Um, this applies to the classroom, but also in life. Um, it's important to know that most times, I think people are dealing with some per personal or private battle that has nothing to do with you. and. Um, it's really easy to get caught up in that and when you remove that responsibility from yourself uh, it makes things go a lot more smoothly for everyone involved so that's the best advice I've ever received. Something people might not know about me is that I'm double jointed uh, in my fingers but also in my feet I can actually turn my foot all the way around and it's pretty disgusting. <laughs>